Welcome to this policy and practitioner discussion as part of the CFID Head project. Today, we hope to make visible the dialogue, challenges and opportunities that present themselves when dealing with heritage loss. We'll be particularly focusing on Seaford Head in East Sussex, the archaeology of which is threatened by coastal erosion. This is an issue that's always been there. Our coastline exists because it's where the wet stuff meets the dry stuff um, and those waves eroding the, the cliff lines, that, that's been going on for thousands of years. What we're seeing now is just the tip of the iceberg. We know that these processes that stem from, from this changing climate are going to get more and more extreme. This is just the, the, the beginning of the sorts of scales of change that we're going to see. Seaford is on the coast and therefore very much in the front line with the effects of climate change. So for us, it's obviously about understanding as best we can what is happening. And our responses, there's a range of responses from pure public safety, moving fences and paths back from cliff edges when there are cliff falls, warning the public to stay away when the coast is storming to work with partners such as those here today to see how best we manage this landscape in this time of change. There's new sites being discovered, but there's also sites like Seaford Head, and they do have statutory protection. They are scheduled ancient monuments. They're supposed to be preserved and looked after for future generations. We can't stop the, 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 the cliffs eroding at, at, at that point our response can't be one of uh, protect for future generations necessarily on 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 that site it's the, so what should our response be there's there's an issue as well around the, the monitoring and how we actually keep track of the changes that are happening at that sort of scale there, there is some really interesting work emerging there and, and there is a huge role there for people for citizen science for for public engagement particularly to help us do that. On a variety of different levels, it's a bereavement process, it's a process of loss. Um, in terms of the very different emotions that it might elicit from local people or from people nationally, depending on the um, significance of the monument or its profile, for example. The, the reason behind why we do anything to do with heritage is about people. It's about yeah. the stories about people and those places and the way in which we can share that, that, that connection through time between generations. 